In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about fault code P4 on a media air source heat pump. Um, so if you had a P4 error, you'd see it up on the screen here um, saying P4 refrigerant discharge temperature too high. So essentially, if we go to the outdoor unit, I'll show you what's been going on. So if you whip off the two covers of the unit, um, you can see your, your middle and your right hand cover. We need to get into this cover here to see the compressor. And if you look at every compressor ever made, you will see that there are essentially two pipes going into them. We have um, our small one at the top here, um, which is our outlet, it's always coming out the middle of the compressor. And our suction is over here in the background. Difficult to see, but it's much, much bigger pipe um, over here, hidden away. Okay. What this fault code means is if you follow the pipework carefully, you can see there's a sensor here under the foam, in the white foam. And it's saying that that sensor is reading more than 115 degrees centigrade. L really, really good tip for you here, especially if you're not a fridge engineer. If you were to go when the unit is running and you have a look around the back and you touch the outlet pipework here where our water pipework is coming out of the unit, feel the pipework coming out and measure the water temperature. Um, let's say this is at 50 degrees C, okay? And you can read this obviously from the controller. But if this is at 50 degrees C, when you head round here, this pipe coming out of the compressor, as a rule, should never be more than 35 degrees warmer than the water. So if the water's 50, I'm not expecting to see anything above about 85 degrees here. So if this trips at 115 degrees C, it means that we've got ourselves something of the order of water coming out the unit at kind of 70 or 75 degrees, which is higher than the unit can cope with. But normally you find the water out the back is cold and this is exceptionally hot. And what that indicates is you've got refrigerant volume problems. So essentially you've got a refrigerant leak. This is true of all air source heat pumps. It's a really good guideline that the compressor shouldn't be massively hot compared to the water. If you haven't got a thermometer and you're too lazy to take the covers off, it's a mid -year, so you can do all this stuff remotely. So if you go to the controller, wake it up, notice the padlock, press unlock for five seconds, press menu, scroll down to the second page to operation parameter, press OK, and you can see every single tensor here. So what I'm interested in here is to find the compressor discharge temperature on page eight. And you can see it currently says 18, but if this is 120 degrees C, um, you know you've got yourself a problem. You can also see your water inlet and water outlet temperatures. So as a rule, um, sorry, as a rule, what you're looking for is if this temperature is 20 and the unit's running, I'm not expecting to see this much above about 55 degrees C. Um, 35 degree difference between these two is what you're looking for. It's a really, really good test of whether there's refrigerant problems on the system.